Ladies and gentlemen, we should probably talk about why we're always putting head gaskets on these little Subaru Flat 4s. If they just had two more head bolts, the head gaskets wouldn't blow. They have an open deck. The deck moves around, causes the head gasket to blow. Then the engine explodes, right? That's all we needed to say. Or should we explain a little bit further? For those of you who don't think there's enough bolts, let's get that out of the way because that's the most ridiculous. I drew you a picture. This is what we got right here. Six bolts, all nice and uniform. This is what you're voting for. Four bolts per cylinder. Which one looks stronger to you? I doubt it's the one with two deep threaded holes in the block right next to each other. And if you don't think the bolt's strong enough to do the job at hand, this is a massive bolt. This is bigger than most people would expect to have in there. So, that's out. The other thing is, these head gaskets don't really blow in the traditional sense, or at least it takes them a long time to get to that point. When we say blown head gasket, we usually mean compression from the combustion chamber has blown past the gasket into one of the water jackets or out into the atmosphere. These head gaskets usually leak a long time before they blow, and they usually leak oil. As you can see, this one's been leaking a long time. The customer refused to believe that oil was coming from the head gasket until he got two other opinions and he was still skeptical. His reason was it had never overheated or lost any coolant. That brings me to the open deck. Most of you know what I mean when I say open deck, but there are some who don't, and they're actually my target audience. I would like to explain that first, so I'm going to head over to the scrap pile and find a visual aid. I guess the only example I have of an open deck already a part of my scrap pile is this 3.6 liter Pentastar. This will work. When we say deck, we're referring to this surface right here. It's the mounting surface for the cylinder head on the engine block. And when we say open deck, it means the deck is open between the cylinder and the rest of the deck. This is for coolant right here, and it allows the engine to cool a little better but it's not as strong. Let me give you an example of a closed deck. This General Motors 5.3 is a good example of a closed deck. As you can see, there's a lot more metal around the top of the cylinder for support. This is a much stronger design. But even with its open deck, the 3.6 liter Pentastar isn't really prone to head gasket failure. The 3.5 liter EcoBoost is also an open deck engine, and it's not famous for head gasket failure either. So why would this little Subaru's open deck cause the head gaskets to fail? I don't really think that's the problem. A traditional head gasket failure is a leak anywhere in this ring that seals the compression into the combustion chamber. This part of the head gasket is under a lot of pressure. Subaru, like any other vehicle, can experience a traditional head gasket failure if they overheat or they're assembled incorrectly. But these things usually leak down here at this oil port right here. This isn't under any pressure. There's just oil running back into the bottom of the engine right here. Why does it leak right there? Some people think it was the head gaskets themselves. From 1999 to 2010, Subaru used a fiber gasket with metal inserts in all of their vehicles. Then in 2010, they changed their gaskets. But wouldn't the problem have gone away in 2010? Even Subaru didn't say the problem was solved until 2016. And I get 2018s regularly with bad head gaskets. I don't think that was the issue either. The best clue of why they leak is where they leak. It usually starts down here at this oil port with a little bit of seepage, and it doesn't always get worse. This can go on unnoticed for a long time, or if it is noticed, it can be dismissed as a leaking valve cover gasket or something like that. Then we blow a compression seal. Why does it always happen in that order? When you bolt something down, the force on whatever you bolted is the greatest near the bolt and gets a little lesser the further from the bolt you get. When you put two bolts in something, the force on whatever you bolted down is the greatest between the two bolts. The head gasket shows how the head's bolted down. You have this bolt hole and this one and a line of force between them. This one, this one, same thing, a line of force between them. All the lines of force intersect around the combustion chamber for good reason, because it needs that force to be right there. But look what falls outside of the line of force. It's our oil jackets that always leak. But that can't be the problem. That's a very thick piece of metal. Even if it's bolted down there and there, it still puts enough force right there to keep that gasket tight. Not really. Cast aluminum, like all metal, will expand with heat and contract when cooled, but it's very soft and flexible. You have to think of it like a sponge. I can expand and contract this area right here without affecting this area up here. So it really doesn't matter how much support I have above it, I can move this metal here with enough heat. All I need is a heat source, something like an exhaust port, that would do it. Once this metal starts moving around, it wears at this gasket, making it thinner. That damage will migrate, and it migrates up to this bowl right here. Once it gets to that bolt, this gasket material being thinner loosens the bolt. That takes its pressure off from this right here. 
your compression seal. That causes your head gasket to blow. Now the quality of my camera isn't that good, but you can actually see the damage has migrated up to this bolt hole right here. And when I took this bolt out, it felt quite a bit looser than all the others. So I guess the more bolt people have it. All we need is a little bit more metal on each side right here, and a couple of bolts right there, and right there, and we probably wouldn't have this problem. Now there are other Subaru engines with head gasket failures for different reasons. Maybe as I get those cars and I make the repairs, I'll do a video and break them down to see if I can figure out why those head gaskets are blowing as well.